New York City has been called a melting pot and that the people who walk its streets are made of diverse. People of all races, ethnicities, and preferences enter the city daily. But is there really as much diversity as we think? There may be many faces that walk the streets, but there is a similarity as an ignominium. These similarities are not limited to just the people we see, however, but also the advertisements and stories we have to buy. If you haven't figured it out yet, it is the body type. More specifically, I am referring to the thin or slender body type that is advertised on most billboards or in most shop windows. The advertisement of the ideal body type is not something which has only appeared recently, but rather something that we have all grown up with since childhood. Research shows that media spread ideals for body image reduce body satisfaction. So is it a surprise that we see so many people fitting into this ideal? Labels have started appearing on advertisements stating whether the image portrayed has been digitally altered in any way. Women have been found to have decreased body dissatisfaction knowing how unrealistic advertisements are. But is this enough to overcome years of being exposed to a thin body ideal? We may not have taken notice of these messages we are fed growing up, but actually they take a large part from the toys we played with to the shows we watched. The exposure to an ideal body image causes females to desire the same for themselves. It was found recently that daughters have greater levels of body dissatisfaction than their mothers. It is no surprise that such is true due to the expansion of media in the recent generation. The advancement in technology has greatly boosted the ability of advertisers to spread their messages. It would be very difficult to find youth in the United States without access to the internet or a television. It wasn't and still is not too common to find heavier characters in the cartoons children watch or the television shows of an older age group. If there is a heavier character, however, there are times more thin characters next to him or her. How can children help looking up to their heroes, none of which seem to fall short of having the body of an, a super athlete? Wanting to be like one of your heroes is perfectly normal and healthy, but it is the unforeseen consequences that may be dangerous. Advertisements have been found to affect people's behaviors, which is the point of advertisements, right? While it is true that advertisements are put up in order to get people to buy a product, there are side effects as well. When presented with a picture of a model with a thin body type, females were found to choose diet versions of meals. This behavioral change is potentially dangerous to the consumer. Though diet and exercise are perfectly healthy ways of achieving a thin and body, healthy body type, not everyone chooses the same methods of reaching their goal. The presence of advertisements is a double-edged sword, on one end promoting a healthy lifestyle, and on the other end promoting one that is deleterious. Exposure to thin models is not a question of if, but of when. It is almost impossible to avoid seeing pictures of th these models, be it on lingerie advertisements or on a simple food advertisement. More research shows that television pushes a positive body image. However, it has been, had the opposite effect as people grew increasingly dissatisfied with their own bodies. This led to a decline in mood and a decline in eating habits. Television pushes the idea that people's bodies are unsatisfactory, causing negative emotions to arise and leading to poor decision making. All in all, the reasoning behind the existence of such similarity in body types is clear. The media has influenced the masses to strive for one common body type, or more specifically, the thin body type. The bottom line is that sex sells and the media has constructed a thin ideal as the portrayal of sex. Thin is sexy, so clothes are advertised on thin figured mannequins. Thin models act in their respective adver advertisements. These influences lead to potentially unhealthy behaviors in individuals, but are not enough to change corporations' marketing strategies. 
The only way for the public to overcome these obstacles is to educate ourselves and others on the detrimental effects of these advertisements. People must become more aware of reality and how it is different from the images that are posted all around us.